you ready? All right. Thank you, Anne. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Nine Jasper Talent Hunt Season 2 semi finals. This is beautiful chaos. A lot of noise happened backstage. Makeup is happening. Photography happens. Very integral part of the show. Uh, usually I come here, I stay here first. I get my jacket ready. The photographer is on standby. And then I take a few shots, right? Oh, perhaps there you go. Some of the contestants. Tessie Seas, come on. DTH All Stars, and of course, Brothers in Arms. Good to see you. Yeah. Super, pretty, pretty good. The semi-finals is very exciting, very intense. A lot happens, a lot of action, and you're letting pop it. Um, in a few moments, we'll announce some of the contestants that will make you through to the finale, while others will be leaving the show. The final moments before any contestants gets on stage is perhaps the most intense. They take this walkway through the spat. For me, as the host, I grab my microphone, and then it is literally Showtime. Hello everybody, welcome to the semi-finals of the ninth Jasper Talent Horn Season 2. I am VJ Adams and boy, do we have an amazing show lined up for you today. Nine weeks ago, we started this competition on a very slow note, but it's picked up pace since then and now the fast and very steady, that's how we're moving now. The critical part of the competition is where we are at the semi-finals. The DTH app is where all the actions happen where you need to vote and vote your winner for this season. Now, you know, it's, well, what's at stake is seven millionaire in cold cash and an all expense paid trip to Dubai and Kenya for the winner of this season. Now, by this time next week, you finally would have decided who the winner of this season would be. But without further ado, the important people that decide their fates from the royalty cards and give them constructive criticisms, your judges. First up to perform tonight, she is the only poet on the show. She looks the part, she sounds the part, and she's been delivering. Ladies and gentlemen, please make some noise for I Be Quake. Master of the universe, I seek to master your nature in this verse. I seek to follow your course without taking a reverse eye. I seek to serve, become as intimate as an intercourse, since it's just us. Before a virus infects the entire world, I want to show the planets were already planted as planned at first, and not by some theoretical research. Even as dark as the moon, I can't separate the sun from his moon because his moon was also made to shine. Astronomy wouldn't be enough to explain his creativity. Even if I studied a star, it would lead me right back to him. I could ask the wise men, but I seek the face of the wise God, in whom is a gallery of galaxies. He is MC Galaxy, the galactic master of ceremonies, the one who walks on water without an anchor, the one who heals the sick without the help of a babalao, the one who performs miracles without collecting a woe. The one who turns water to wine yet were drunk on the Holy Ghost. The one who doesn't walk with time yet never delays like African time. To the one who is bigger than time and eternity. Stronger than ifas and priests. Open your eyes to see the high priest who is bigger than the internet. is bigger than the universe. He who did not send the Avengers to save the world but sent his son to save the lost. Because he could have transformed like Hulk, become the invisible God, the strength of invisibility. He could have switched places with Thanos, delete man from eternity. He would marvel the earth with his wonder, shape shift like a shape shifter, quake creation like Thor without the hammer. He would be Superman without a kryptonite. Yet, he chose to die for love. As if love was a crime, he chose to pay the price. The one who eases the wounds of the abused. 
He enables the broken to break without falling apart. The God of free and fair and doesn't judge you based on what you wear. Tight jeans, ripped jeans, but a trace of his jeans when he created us right from Genesis. The one who sees us with clarity fixes our broken pieces like an orthopedics. The one who laid on the cross like a calabash before his God and no, this isn't ritualism. Just a lamb who gave himself up as a sacrifice. Thank you. <laughs> I be quick. My goodness. I don't know why I'm the first person to talk. Why did everybody just pause? Post, like, I think we, we feel like we want more, right? That was amazing. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, um, this is what I have to say at this point of the competition. So, for me, I'm not really... I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the many talents that you have and the many professions that you can... The many kinds of professional jobs you can create for yourself in the creative industry. And there's a huge gap for you to fill. This was a beautiful, well put together spoken word. It is, I am, my, my hands are literally shaking. Well done, great job. And then you look stunning, I must say that. Yeah. Uh, I'll be quick, that was very beautiful. Yes, I wanted more. Not because you didn't do enough, but because it was too beautiful. And I was lost in it. I was lost by the same time I was following you. You know, that was very, very passionate and very touching. And the message was clear and direct. And I don't know, this is my best performance of you. I mean, of the show. I really love this. Look at the way I'm calm right now, because you got me so bad, like, I'm having reflection and, you know, thinking about my life and all that. That was very beautiful. And I wish you good luck. I'll be quick. One thing I will say is a very strong part of your performance that always hits me is the impact. You know, every time you come on stage and you perform, there's impact. You make me go home and sit down and think about one or two things. So you're not easy to forget. Uh, I don't know what the outcome of this show is going to be. Whether you win on this stage or not, you are a winner. And I just look forward to seeing you win in life and in everything that you do. I want to be able to look back and see you in the biggest stage of the world and say, yes, I always believed in this girl. Great job. Um, honestly speaking today, I think this was probably your most audible performance. I didn't need to read the lines to hear what you were saying to understand you and to follow you. Um, the play on religion and superheroes was amazing. I can totally relate with that. And I think that <clears throat> your, your talent knows no boundaries. The question of talent is not, has never been there when it comes to you. you know, but this performance today, I felt was absolutely amazing. Totally believed it, totally enjoyed it. You understand? And, and I really appreciate it and I wish you all the best. Yeah. Your love is kind Your love is patient You feel my so much peace and joy Even when I fall your hand You still there hold my hands The heart of my soul You know that break my heart I sing about your mercy I sing about your grace Now you deposit my brain Every night and day You carry me for granted you put me for the top Shower me with your love, your grace Now the channel where they on top You be my shepherd so I know fit fight Waiting to jump Even if I shall lamb Enough fit be enough Daddy where they pamper Daddy where they bless Forever you're my father Now you will be the 
today <laughs> honestly speaking I, at some point I was almost moved to tears and I'm, be, I'm a very strong guy you. <laughs> well I was almost moved to tears you had me thinking of all the bad things I did this week <laughs> um, you Jerry I must say this to you because this is your second to the last performance by the grace of God. You are one talent I'm going to miss looking forward to perform every weekend. Like when I come for this show every week, there are particular people that I just think of and they give me that joy that I would sit down and watch them perform and you fall into that category. You are an immense talent and I wish you the best. It's so good, I don't even know what to say. You know, you just make me just think about the wonders of God and him blessing you with this level of talent and you standing here to use that same voice to give this level of glory to him. It's, it just, just, I just can't. Well done. Um, I don't know if you remember the first time you performed. I said something to you. I said, your voice will win souls for God. You, okay. That performance was very beautiful. I loved it. All your performances are amazing. They're like the best, everything. You sang that song in the way that the message was felt, you know, and you can't sing a song like that and don't expect people to be self-conscious, to get emotional, you can't sing a song like that and don't expect the Holy Ghost Spirit to appear. Do you understand? I'm not in church today. I didn't go to church today. But every Sunday, I look forward to your performance. Because while you're performing, I always say prayer in my heart. I say the Lord's Prayer every time. And the song is like, what's happening in my life? Like, I don't know why God loved me so much. He keeps blessing me in different ways. And I understand where Ian is coming from. I'm holding my tears back so bad. You are amazing and you're blessed. You win the show, you don't win it, you're a winner, girl, for life. Believe that. I am Yuji. So, honestly, I'm not going to come here and pretend like that performance was the best thing I've seen. Um, I think vocally today, you were out of this world. I think this performance today, I know how week in, week out, you've been hitting high notes. 
and I know the stress that takes on your voice, and to see how much control you have over that voice in light of how much stress you put on it, I think it's out of this world. Um, you make it tough every week. Every week you make it tough. You understand? And that's a good thing. You get. I think this performance was beautiful. I love the, the medley of that. Even the, the, the musicians that you chose was absolutely amazing and a very brilliant choice. I really appreciate it. Well done. And you look very beautiful in the outfit. Um, I, come, I, I, want, um, I need you on the 6th. Okay? I want you to perform for me. Why did you bring them? Why? They, they almost paused your song. Are you serious? That was amazing. You could do it all by yourself. You didn't need any backup. Look, I am, I don't know. Jesus, I am so grateful for this platform. I'm so grateful to God to even be here to witness this level of greatness. You are, I can't believe how much you have grown. Yeah. When you started that song, I was like, God, here we go. But girl, did you kill it? Oh gosh, well done. This is going to be really tough, guys. Yeah. I swear to God. Elena, look at you. Look, look at you. you. <laughs> look at you, you're looking like you're singing to me and you're looking like your, your wedding dress already. I should, I, should, I should go get a suit, you know? <laughs> and then let's do the I do. Dr. Seed can be the priest. And we just get this off and going. Um, Helena, look, you are, you are a fantastic talent. 
Yeah, I share the same sentiments with Ini. You really need the backup singers. But I do understand. Because when I heard you with the backup, I was trying to see how would she sound on a live stage when she's performing her own show. You understand? But the beauty for me is that with or without them, you stood out. I feel like you hit all the notes and you gave an outstanding performance. And by the way, baby girl, you look beautiful. Oh my God. Breathe, breathe. <laughs> you know, I'm so proud of you because you've grown so much in this competition. When you started that song, I'm like, I was scared for you, but you killed it. You were scared? Wow. It, didn't, it was not obvious that you were scared because you killed it flawlessly. You hit every note. You know, I was trying to sing along with you. I'm like, okay, okay. That was very beautiful. With or without them, you stood out. That was outstanding, and I wish you all the best. You look very gorgeous. Um, I think last week you were pitch perfect. This week, absolutely flawless. I I have no nothing negative. I think you 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 dressed the part. You performed the part. I believed every single part of your performance. I was listening to see how you would handle those notes. Because for me, I have a rule. Anybody that goes into a talent search competition or talent hunt competition, and you are a singer, you don't sing songs by Alicia Keys, Mariah Carey, or Whitney Houston. Don't do it. Because it's, it's, it can be suicide if you don't do it well. Listen. Where Whitney is right now, she's giving you a standing ovation. Because you absolutely did that song justice. And truth be told, you did not need the backup singers at all. At a point in time, they realized they won't, they won't spoil them. Shout out to you guys, though, but yeah. But thank you very much. Well done for bringing your A game at this level of the competition so we know exactly what is at stake right now. Well done.
Hi, King Sachs. So, I'm probably a, one of your biggest fans. But it's so funny how we were talking about the previous performance and how the backup singers nearly ruined it. Personally for me, they actually ruined your performance for me. Like, I'm not going to lie, up until the end where they were performing a cappella to your saxophone, that was the best blend. Everything before that was them sounding totally off key. You get, and it was distracting me from what you were doing. You understand? I'm, you know me, I don't hold my mouth. I'm very critical about, about this thing. So because of that, today is not your best performance for me, and I'm going to be very honest. You understand? In the semi-final stage, that should have been rehearsed a bit more, and the sound should, it should have sounded way better. It didn't sound nice to me personally. But backup signals aside, you have a phenomenal player on the saxophone. You understand? And you did murder this performance. I'm not going to lie. But holistically, with them, not the best for me today. Thank you. King Sax. Uh, I agree with him. Not until the end, they were not helping your performance. But from the beginning, I ignored them. And my focus was on you. You killed that. You did your thing. But next time, please, you don't need that. Comprende? Good. <laughs> my guy. Now, wow. See, no give me hypertension for this competition. I think you they hear me. We have come too far for you to at this level. Do I'm gonna be very tough on you tonight. I don't think you've if you've ever really fallen into a category of critic of bad criticism, so you're gonna receive it tonight. That was not a good performance. I'm gonna tell you why. We are not here to enjoy Pataranki's music, otherwise we'd just play it in our homes and dance to it. So why we're here looking at you is that you play the saxophone and I wanna hear it. The interference with the, 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 the primary music overshadowed you completely. You are an artist that stands out. So you, you have to stand out in, in spite of a good music, a good song that you're performing. It's important because you are the competition, not the song. This, the owner of the song has done his job. But we are listening to you. So nothing should overshadow your own performance. And tonight was not a good show for you. And don't do it again. I'm sure you'll make it to the finals. I want to see you come out in your full strength. Please. Thank you. Needs to be said has been... Well, King Sachs, I'll tell you this for free. You are a complete package. Don't get distracted. Don't get excited. Stay focused. In all the sax saxophonists I've had in my life perform, I think you have that thing they call the star factor. The star factor means that when you get on that big stage, you don't blow. You get what I'm saying? You have everything it takes to become an artist that can be recognized in his own entity, and you will do extremely well. Don't get excited. Um, I don't want to backlash the backup singers. For all the same King Sax, I hope to see you next week. And if you come next week, oh God, no disappoint us. So. One love. Dear Lord, help my destiny. Let someone invest in me. Like a doctor see, cause I want to blow. Oti Pelati SS3. I've been blessed with the melody, Lord. That was many years ago. Yeah. I don't they pray, Baba. I don't they tire, Lord. Please. Oti Eti Sumi Gome. Oh, yeah, give me one hit song, Lord. Let me blow like all I'm in day. Give me one hit song, Lord. Pick me up like a de Give me one hit song, Lord. 
let me blow like all I'm in day. Lord, I know city in the street, no easy. God, away, bless Mr. Easy. I don't mean to be greedy, but shit in me. Oh, Lord. Now, dear Lord, if I blow light in my eye, I will take my whole team higher. And if you do it for me, everybody go know. Hello, Baba, it's me. See, I've been wondering if after DTH I go blow. So hello from the other side I must have called a thousand times I want to blow like Wheezy or Fireboy I hope you feel me So give me one hit song Lord, hey, I did pray for it They pray for it, yo. Dear Lord, help my destiny. Let someone invest in me, like in the edo, cause I wanna blow. Yeah, please. I beg. Soak it in, soak it in, soak it in. The first part of that was an original composition. So you, you get mind, read semi final, come do original song. As in, you get mind, though. This is, it's by Cobams. One hit. Okay, I fear I ask you whether an original composition. You say yes. He won't go king on another person's song. See, uh -huh. no, I, I think he changed the words in the song. No, I, I know he yeah. changed the words in the song, but you know, you made it your own. You personalized Cobham's songs. You know, <clears throat> I've been very critical of you throughout this entire competition, and that's because I see potential. But I've said it a long time: potential does not always translate to greatness. You need something more that takes your potential from where it is to where it needs to be to get you to where you need to be. This crowd this night, I was listening to you, but I was also listening to them. They felt you, they understood you, and they appreciated you. And for that, I'm going to join them and do the same thing and appreciate you, my brother. Well done. Boy V. That was very, very beautiful. Um, you're one person that, from the, in this show, you have actually grown. You've taken critics and you've worked on yourself. You can sing. You're a great performer. I actually <laughs> fell for that. I thought that was your song, like, because you made that song yours and you took it personal. Or were you acting? Ha. Song, you know. I Which one of them is your song? song? Oh, you relate to I it. I relate to the song very because it's my. Okay, don't, you're going to get that hit song. And we not lose your star, okay? Thank and you. I love your drip. I love your vocal texture. I love the fact. Oh, we're not holding the mic too much. Are you? I was lost in your voice and following the story. That was beautiful. I enjoyed it, and I wish you the best of luck. Boy V. I am C. I swear to God. I wish you could see my heart. I'm smiling in my heart. If there's anything like that. <laughs> I'm serious. Like I am, I am, I am. Ex I'm really excited to watch how you have transitioned, how you have grown, the consistency you have shown, how you have taken corrections, how you've taken every critic and made it into something that is making you stand on this stage today. Let me tell you something. You see this blow, you go over blow. Amen. <laughs> you go over blow because you're willing to learn and you listen. So 
and then you are talented and you work so hard for this. I'm so proud of you. I'm just happy to see how you've evolved. That was a great song. Your message was very relatable. You understand? That's a dream. We can, we are, why we, everybody's sort of identifying with your dream is because your zeal towards achieving that dream is very obvious. So you're not forcing it. We can see it. And God will help you get what you need to get to, get to where you want to get to. Good luck and all the best. You did an amazing job tonight. You should be proud of yourself. Well, Ivy, I won't say much. I will just pray for you. <laughs> and I pray that God in heaven sends all the available angels that are not on vacation to come and help you on your path to victory. That blue that you've been looking for for years, you will get it in a cup full. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. You are blessed. Hi guys, my name is I.K. Obuna and I am a George on the Ninja Spirit Talent Hunt Season 2. Have you downloaded the DTH app? I'm guessing the answer is no. So why don't you head over to your devices and download the app on Google Play Store or Apple Store and stand a chance to win. How do you win? Well, be active on the Play to Win section and stand a chance to win 1 million Naira. Thank me later. God bless. Every week, we give out 300,000 Naira to the best performer for the evening. And for week eight, and she's winning for the third time. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for UG Royalty. For the third time. But this is perhaps the first time you're winning alone, right? Personally, yeah. And how does this feel to win personally? This way, you're not sharing with anybody. I feel honored. All right, I just want to say a very big thank you to my judges. I love you all, and I celebrate every single... <laughs> Thank you. And to everyone out there, I made a special piece for you. Here is my piece. Thank you so much for your vote. God's blessings for you go be overdosed. I'll keep making you proud. I'll keep on doing the most and the glory at last to God's name. There it goes. I love you. Thank you so much, Heather. Now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to sweet things up, we brought back contestants from last season. They were very special and they're back to perform and through the audience again. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Vocal Mix. I'm going under and this time I fear there's no one to save me. Save me. Save me. Save me. Save me. This all nothing really got to where you're driving me crazy. Crazy. Champagne, we did 
the pop champagne with the pop champagne Dr. Sid, no, I think they could not spend money for floor for a year. What did happen? No, we're in a castle. After all that thing they did for we're pop shopping. We're in a castle society. They know how I do now. You know how I do. Oh, they don't know worry. you. Yes, don't worry. Don't worry. Something coming soon. Dr. Sid and Vocamonics, watch out for it. I love it. Yes. I think, I think you know, this is, this is a testament to what uh, the Niger Spirit Talent Hunt competition does. These were, and these guys didn't win. Just imagine. That's what I'm saying. So you can just imagine the talent on this stage, and they didn't win last year. So you understand how powerful this show is, and in bringing out amazing. Listen, it was nice watching you guys perform without thinking about whether I'm going to give you votes or nothing. I swear to God, it was so refreshing. Well done. Well done. Thank you. And, and Lico Rose is the first time you've seen them perform. Impressed? Excited? Well, how do you feel? <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> I was telling them, like, can I, can I just give them something, like money? <laughs> that was very, can I? Yes, you talk okay. to me, talk to me, talk to me, I'm their okay. manager. That was, oh, come on. <laughs> because all I see is like, uh, on YouTube and stuff, and watching you guys, and I'm sitting here, and I was asking myself, that guy, they sing ten, I say yes. I saw they do that thing, so I was asking them to point everybody out for me. You guys are so, like, I don't know, I don't have the words. I'm like, that means last year over a choke. Yes, so. Thank God I was not here <laughs> because I don't know what I would do. I you guys didn't win your finalists. I've seen um, fans from last year perform, and I'm always like, what was that? Like, are you guys from this planet? I need to ask. And let me just add, Chad. You are amazing. I didn't you do are that for sure for December. I just doing that one. Nothing to you. Let's go. Hi. Edo, excited to see yes, them perform so. again. Oh, my gosh, guys. It's such a breath of fresh air. To see you all together again after one year, still sounding amazing, right. looking even more advanced and more professional in your performance and your delivery. That means that this show is really doing something good. That's right. And as young creatives, it's just so important to understand that the creative industry in Nigeria is go is on a different level. It's taking the hike, the world, the global platform right now has their eyes focused on Nigerian creatives, guys. No so doubt. everybody has to wake up. So I am glad that you guys are doing what you're doing. Guess what? Keep pushing yourselves. And I promise you that the sky is your limit. This is amazing. It's so refreshing. Thank you to DTH. Thank you to the Niger Spirit Talent Hunt Show yes. for pulling these guys out and being able to give them, you know, some sort of careers and, you know, making something out of their lives. I'm proud of you guys. Whenever I have something to do to uh, whatever, whatever kind of event, I'll be sure to call you guys to come. That's right. Because you just you're simply amazing, you guys. That's right. Well done. Well so done. proud. So proud. So so proud. I can quickly. Confession. You know, last year Dr. Sid and I were always going back and forth on these guys, because <laughs> I was always like, yeah, they're good, but they're not really. <laughs> and he was like, no, they're the shit. You know. And um, see, you guys are. Awesome. Sorry, who's the captain of this ship? Please come. Please come. So I was going to wear this watch to the end of the show. 
So for doubting you guys, you can have my watch. Amazing, guys. Pretty good. good you are you need to keep your energy up it's just uh, uh, uh. no you're a star when you finish my family like this. shake your head like this like this flip your hair flip your hair you know don't don't just just give up and just uh. it doesn't matter honey baby girl you are you're such I'm so proud of you the confidence that you delivered that song. I just, I did, just didn't like the way you just finished and you just, I wanted you to just do something, give me some swag, like I did that. I killed it. But you did amazing and you look so beautiful. Your, this competition is so freaking tough, guys. What are we going to do? You were, ooh, I'm, I'm, well done, great job. Tessie can sing. So Tessie, I'll say this real quick, yeah? Um, two shows ago, I gave you an advice, and I meant every word I said. The best of us would always be faced with challenges. And I told you, you're an egg. When you allow external forces to break you, you can never get the best of that egg. But when you break from inside, it's always life. A newborn is born. You understand? 
I feel that you put up a good performance. I won't call it your best, but you put up a good performance. And I feel that, the, that you allowed what happened to affect you. You are loved. You have one thing that is very rare. Apart from talent, likability is a very key factor in making it in the industry. You have likability for free. You don't have to beg for it. You don't have to do too much. You have likability. Tessie, take this advice from me, okay? Always be comfortable. Forget about everything that happens around you. Always be you and deliver you at every point in time. If your people from village come, tell them go back. Always be you, okay? <sighs> Tessie, I'm not going to smile with you today because, like you said, like a bleat is rare, and I like you a lot. All the judges can testify to that. Very personal. So I don't think I've ever been blunt. I've been blunt with you, but I've not been harsh with you. But what's your problem? You are your only problem. Do you know that? That performance was beautiful. But your facial expression made it bad. You were, your facial expression was showing that, oh, I'm not killing this part. Oh, I, I think my energy is down. You don't do that. And you're standing there like that. Stand with, conf stand with confidence. You are a fucking star. Like, stand with confidence. Don't stand like with your head down like, oh my God, I didn't do well. No. You need to walk in from that backstage to this stage and know that I am Tessie Sings and I'm going on that stage to leave my art on the stage. Don't come here. Yes, things happen. Do you understand? Don't wear it. Wear your crown. Adjust your crown, girl. You did good. You have the vocals. Now I've, it took me like nine weeks to understand where the problem is. And the problem is you. You can sing. You don't go off except you want to go off. Do you know what the problem is? It's in you. And that is, you're not confident enough in yourself. You, must, you have to be your own number one fan, first of all. Look in the mirror and say, I'm the best. Then you come out here, you channel that energy to the crowd. Did you notice they didn't start singing with you onto the chorus? Come on, girl. I feel like crying because you're not making me happy tonight. And I like you. I save you sometimes where you everybody feel like you should go home. I will save you. Come on, don't do that. Live here today and remember the harsh words, not the good words. So you will go back there and walk on it. And stand like a queen. <clears throat> So, first off, let me say personally, that's probably one of your best performances ever. And I'll tell you why. And it will still come back to what um, Luca Rose said. The moment you had the audience singing the song, your energy rose. You started smiling, you were confident. Before that, you were unsure, you were, you were not confident in yourself and in your ability or what you were doing until you heard them singing. Now, major key, when you are performing on stage, nobody knows there is a mistake until you show it. Your facial expression, your body language will tell the audience there's something wrong. Up until that point, we don't know. We are, we are blissfully ignorant. You have to find your own energy from within. That's your only problem. You don't come with your own energy. You, you feed off the the, the the sound, the whatever, the, the environment. The same thing IK said, same thing different people have said. You have to come with your own energy, for, find something that gives you that confidence and that understanding that, listen, I am the shit. I'm holding this microphone and I have a dope ass voice. The moment I open my mouth, people will cower, they will shake and they will give me a standing ovation. But if you don't find it every time you come out, there's one small glitch, there's one, your entire body language will just shrink. You can't allow anything, like Ike said, negative outside to affect you. This performance, I saw the real Tessie Sings tonight. 
that smile, that vocal control, that confidence. The first time I'm seeing you actually having a great time on stage. So well done. Good evening, Georges, and good evening, Nigeria. How are you guys doing? <laughs> so in here, though, um, I, have, I want us to try something tonight. I have a list of names from last year's contestants here. So I have Igu, I have uh, Constance, I have DJ Shine, I have BOJ, I have Oracle, I have Crystal Lights, I have Slim Saint, I have uh, Luna, and Ninja Tricks, and DMX, like a bunch of names from last year's contestants, okay? So I'm going to try something tonight. I'm going to place them inside the envelope right here, and I'm going to mix them up. So I'm going to need to pick one at random, okay? So just go in there, just take out anyone, stick your hand in, pick out anyone that you like. You want me to shake it some more? <laughs> All right, just take out one. Okay, hold it to your chest. Do not let me see. You have one. All right, very good. Um, good evening, everybody, once again. When I say good evening, you say good evening, too. So um, tonight, I want to show you guys an illusion, okay? I have a long rope on me, and I have a short rope as well. Now, pay attention, please. I'll take the short rope and wrap it around the long rope like this. Now, we have the short rope and the long rope, yes? Now, I'm going to say a magic word, phantom, and by the time I breathe in air, you see that the short rope turns into a long group, and now we have two long groups. <laughs> okay, okay. Just to make sure you guys are paying attention, okay? I'm going to try this one more time. Watch. I'll tie the rope around the two of them just like this, knotting them together like this. So now we have one long group, yes? And there's the knot in the middle. What's the magic word again? Watch. Phantom. You see as the knot moves down. Watch, it moves down. And then it goes down until it comes all the way off. <laughs> now pay attention now, we have just one long rope, yes? Now please pay attention, watch. I'm going to wrap the rope around itself like this, okay? So now we have a loop, yes? What is the magic word again? So if I snap, it comes all the way off just like that. Yeah, and I know, it does my head every single time. Now please pay attention, watch. Now we have to bring everything back together, yes? Pay attention, please. Now watch. I'm going to take the loop and take the other, wrap it around itself. So now we still have the loop here, yes? Watch. All right, guys. Give me a second. Hold on, I'm coming. OK. See, tonight. I want to show you guys what illusions are all about. Please not have the volume, please. You could have chosen any day, but you chose to be one of your people. I made a picture of who you be. For the first time, which contestant did you be? Black. Magic for me was always meant to inspire, not a contest of wits. Always expect the unexpected. People, right? I made a prediction of who you will be.
since DTH, magic has been more than just a hobby to me. It's been so much more than me. Anyone can be a magician. It's funny how people choose to believe in witches, miracle, fate, and all sort of superstition. But not in themselves. It doesn't matter who you are. As long as you believe in your magic, anything is possible. In Edo, you had a peak amongst a few DTH contestants from last year. You could have chosen any name, but you chose one of your favorite. I made a prediction of who you will pick. For the first time, which contestant did you pick? Not a contest of wits. Always expect the unexpected. It's black. That's what is here now. Me, I'm just. You shock me. The more you see, the less you understand, Abby. Phantom. Today, today, you earned my respect. See, eh? Yeah. Let me tell you the honest truth. Uh, <laughs> Phantom. So let me be very honest with you. You have not been my favorite talent in this show. I don't re I'm sorry, it's nothing personal. It's just, I, I just feel a certain way about all of these magics. So from beginning of the competition till now, I'm like, eh, whatever. But tonight, for the first time, I am rooting for you. This was, a spectacular performance. You, Extremely surprising, creative. I don't know how you did it. I don't like to believe that there are external forces that are moving people and changing, but the creativity you put into this particular performance is worth it. It's the reason why you're still in this competition. So well done. Well done. I, I should have been able to tell from the shoes. <laughs> I swear, I should have been able to tell from the shoes. And the fact that you stopped talking, but I am not going to lie, I can't fault you, that today by far is probably your best performance of this entire show. Uh, and, and in the spirit of confession, in the spirit of confession, the moment they said phantom and i'll be the first to admit i said i'm phantom today <laughs> my brother i've never felt you know good about it. when i say eating young words eh, swallow it my brother you blew my mind today i can't even lie i can't I, there are tears in my eyes after this performance well done <laughs> i was paying attention and i was not paying attention because you know the more you look the less you see Definitely. you know when <laughs> i'm like wait i don't see that said where is phantom these eyes I'm seeing right here are not Phantom's eyes, but I didn't know when it happened, but I knew like this was a different person, but I didn't know when it happened. That was very flawless, that was very clean. Yes, 
I was not rooting for you from the beginning, but I'm glad to say I'm proud of you. You're the last magician in this competition, right? Yeah. And you're making all of them proud. And best of luck. Yes, I'm rooting for you as well. I'm Woo! rooting for you. Big ups. <laughs> Uh, DJ Ola, uh, school don't resume, so school don't resume, so I say ma. Uh, uh, so, uh, Dr. Sid, good evening. First of all, my mama say ma, snap picture with you for two reasons. So, you go allow me snap picture with you, that'll tell you the reason why you say mo snap. Uh, you go smile, me no bless, I, I beg you. Uh, that's great. Correct. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Dr. Sid. I beg, clap for Dr. Sid. Uh, uh, one of the reasons why me my mom say, snap picture with you now. One, she's your big fan. So we won't frame the picture key for us. So that we could boost. You understand me? Second reason. Last week, our brother, Ike Odona, tell him, may you give me yellow ribbon. That's royalty. You say, no, wala. Say, after all the performances, you will see what you can do. So, performance is finished, you will forget. So, my mother, in collaboration with my village people, <laughs> say, more will call, collect your picture personally. So that in case today, you forget, they can see what they can do. Uh, so, no, just say, uh, and ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk about school. But before then, men I tell our elders, say that Gen Z generation be this. All the things that they tell us, we don't grow, we don't tear eye. Now, before they go say what an elder can see when sitting down, say even though children climb the highest mountain, they're not going to see them. Now, before. You see these children? What they can see when lying down? Elders, me not they climb. And now before they go to say, when an elder is talking to you as a child, you need to look around. Now talk to Peking. Now Peking go they look you eyeball to eyeball. Now you elder go they look around. So my son. And I they tell people, if person tell you come and escort me. Accent to where? He no far, he no far. Now waiting Moses, their children of Israel, they trek 40 years. <laughs> they no rich. And I beg, I want to ask something. I don't know if now only me they happen to. For school, why be say, for exam hall, person go copy from you. When results come out. If it don't happen to you, say I. Now, who not fought? Now, who not fought? If person copy from you for exam hall, when who not want submit, make him first go submit. On top of your answer booklet, write original copy. <laughs> Master, as he won't pass, leave you. And this school, school not be scam, oh. People, they shout, school is hard, school is hard. School no hard. Now, you go promise your father first class. Me, I just promise and say, I'm not going to join court, and I no join. <laughs> so anything where I graduate with, he will be proud of it. Because this could get as it be. Exam tension. Now exam tension will make you forget what you know. I don't do it. Ah. I don't do exam before. Person for my back, my friend, Kevin, tap me. Master Seb, Master Seb, spare me T-O-T-O, T-O-T-O. And the anointing finally before I go. That time, results, when there be the best result for school. When I don't say results, will make you get hypertension. When the best result for school, you're going to carry people F, they get hope. Especially for French. If you get E for French, you'll be big man. You can't get E. Ladies and gentlemen, the best results, I go check results. My guy, Kevin, in the year. Result, I go check result. My guy, Kevin, in the year. My guy, in there with him, father, at this school. Now I call Kevin. Kevin, they don't press risotto. 
He tell me, say, Baba, I beg, I deal with my father. If I get one F, tell me how are you? If I get two, tell me how are you and your father? I say, no, wala. Five minutes later, I call Kevin. Hello, Kevin. He say, eh, how are you? I'm fine. And your father? He is fine. What of your sisters? They are fine. And your mother? Thank you so much for your time. Yeah. that you can see that you're already loved you see why i don't really like going for comedy shows i tear up whenever the jokes is too funny you get and i they do me so uh one advice i will give you is this one thing about you that um i can hold on to and say this is different is your originality a lot of comedians repeat other people's jokes they could just remix them put is instead of was, was instead of is. But you are very original. Like every joke you've cracked in this show from day one till today, I haven't heard anywhere else. And for that, I must tell you, you are one talent that will give everybody headache. <laughs> that's, that's it. <laughs> okay, I think what I can try to say is that you're talking about the next generation. You are the next generation of comedians. I see an influx, like I see you leading the next generation of comedians. Let me tell you something. Like, like, like I can said, um, with respect to every comedian, it's not easy getting people to laugh. So it's not even a job I would attempt. Anyway, uh, you know, um, so, but what you do is, and you do it very effortlessly. Like you understand your crowd, you understand the age range, age bracket of your crowd. You pick jokes that are within that age range. You pick things that people around you can relate with. Your jokes don't sound, don't they? Do not sound insulting, but rather you just highlight on the, the things that we perhaps take for granted. So you're very, you, your jokes are very relatable. They're like real stuff that you just make fun of. It's, that's the originality that you have. And if you, if you do a compendium of all of your performances on this show, you will sit back and watch yourself from day one to today, and you'd realize that you don't need anybody to tell you that you are one comedian that can stand on any stage globally. Well done. Um, f first of all, first of no, 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 stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, yes, stand up, car carry your, carry your phone, carry your phone. Okay, ma. Just wait first, carry your phone. Okay. Go take picture of IK. Where first, where, because, where because, uh, hey, because in get royalty card, God send you to me. Not true. You understand? So I not be go. me, eh, uh, uh. <laughs> So this day, Wow. Okay, this is contest of village people. Uh huh. I go. Oh, cheese. Oh God. Oh Jesus. Ah. So, wow. we don't, so, we don't take uh -huh. so that that one vest because make uh -huh. it not be like saying that only me go carry the burden of that hair. Uh -huh. Secondly, I think you know enough said. You you are probably one of the most talented comedians I have ever seen, and trust me, I've seen a lot. And everyone has said about your originality and all of that. You know, it, it's it's tough for us as judges on a weekly basis to choose who gets to stay and who gets to go. It's, it's, it's very emotional for us a lot of times, a lot of heated arguments and, and fights about these things. But at the end of the day, we try to do our best. And, you know, I want to put you up for eviction never again. <laughs> so I hope to see you next <laughs> week. <laughs> You're like one of the best um, talents on the show. And 
I see you doing great things. I see you doing your own show, and like a sold out show actually, because your originality speaks volume and it's hard to come by as a comedian. And one thing for me is, one thing personal for me is how you execute your joke, like your act, your facial expression, and everything. Right now, this is the real you. But once you want starts now, you think on that person. You're all of my favorites on this show, and I wish you all the best of luck. And and that eviction, I know say you will come back. That nomination, I know say you will come back. Amen. Me, I know say you will come back. Amen. Hello, I'm the Rose, and I'm one of the judges at Nine Just Three Talent on Show. Yes, season two. Guys, I'm here to remind you: don't forget to download your DTH app on the Google Play Store or Apple Store. And please be active and answer questions at the play and win session to stand a chance to win one million Naira cash prize. So go write it right now. The last few weeks have been absolutely phenomenal. Roller coaster ride of emotions for both the contestants, the judges, and you, the viewers. However, the hardest part of the show is letting some contestant go. Please welcome on stage. Tessie Sings, Phantom, and Master Seb. It's crazy how they've all performed this week, which was a twist in the show flow, because naturally, not all of them would have had the chance to perform, but this is the semi-finals. They've done extremely well. Please put your hands together for all three of them. They've been very fantastic all season long. However, the votes are in. At least one of them would believe in the competition tonight. First, Master Seb, if that was your last performance, what would you want to say to the audience and the judges? Thank you all. We fought a good fight. Well said. The next contestant, save, and will perform at the finale is Tessie Sings! Congratulations, you're safe. Head on backstage. The next contestant leaving the competition is... Master Seb, you're safe. Phantom, the journey ends here. What do you want to say to the judges and the audience at this moment? Um, I want to say it has been a... That's been a great one for me, actually. Um, I was able to like show that magic could take different forms. And I loved every single part of it. I loved the experience. And I love you, Nigeria. Thank you very much, everybody. Last but not the least, can you do that laugh? <laughs> Make some noise for Phantom, everybody. Thank you so much. One last eviction will happen in the course of the show. But for now, we'll go on a break. And when we return, more performances all here live. Stand by. No matter the stage. No matter the stage, there's a bit of greatness in every man. There's power to rise, there's power to conquer, there's power in sight. There's a gift of power in every man. Be the greatest that we can be. We've got power to rise. 
That is the definition of short and sweet. You guys, you know, you got the energy from the beginning, got us excited, and for the first time in a long time, the music did not stop before your performance. I'm super proud of you guys. Well done. Great performance today. Thank you, sir. What I would say is this, right? Um, for the past three weeks, you guys have always been caught off guard. Your performance always spills into the overtime and you never get to fully perform. I am really proud of you guys today that you were able to put in your act within the time frame and give us a beautiful act. I mean, you could hear the crowd, right? That's all you need. Hi. <laughs> wow, guys. See, guys, uh, <clears throat> what you do is simply amazing. It's risky. Gets me, gets my heart jumping into my mouth. I don't like violence. I don't like seeing people get hurt. So when I see things like this, it's sort of just, but then the ability to focus and deliver this performance, it's a gift. And you guys are all so young. That means that you do have a future in this creative industry that is just about to explode. So I just want to encourage you to say, whatever happens at the end of this competition, don't let it damp Whether you win, which you might or may not, we don't know. But you are in this field, you guys can compete globally. That's what I want to say. So whatever happens as an outcome in this competition, don't just know that you have something that is special and that the world will be happy to keep seeing. So don't give up on your dreams. Don't let any decision or whatever it might be to dampen your spirit. You all are amazing creatives. And what you do, there's not a lot of people that can do it. So well done. I'm in awe. My little friend, once again, you always wow me. So well done, you guys. And the lady, the only lady in the pack. You must be a strong woman to stand to stand out in the midst of five solid men. So great job. Well done. I see you and I appreciate you. Guys, great job. Well done tonight. Um, what I'd like to say is what you, um, you guys do is very risky. And for the fact that every week you take more risks and you execute it flawlessly, amaze me. And that I must commend you guys on that one. And I would say uh, this performance was very, very superb for me. It was short, sweet. I won't say simple. It was short, sweet, and um, superb. Yeah, S triple S, short, sweet, and superb. You guys don't repeat, and you don't repeat your. Um, what would I say? Would I say your? Uh, you don't repeat what you do. You bring like new things to the table every week, and which is very, very entertaining for me to watch. And where is he? That thing you did carrying him and stuff, like, yeah, you guys really, really do great. Win or not in this competition, like, outside competition, you're gonna do great, and yeah, compete globally, and just keep doing what you do best, and keep your head up. It's time to say goodbye. Does that make sense? But first, you must ask yourself, who are you really looking for? Visit the boys who are always trying to perfect their dance, always searching for that last piece to the perfect puzzle.
If you try too hard to perfect something, you could get stuck in a loop. So maybe it's time to let go of that idea of perfection. And so it happened. They forgot why they started. The young boys grew. Expectations grew. And so did the fear of failing. Enjoy it. When you're ready, I'll go. See, I feel like I watched a show straight from Vegas. Have you guys ever, have you ever watched a show in Vegas, in the circus? They never see what you know now. You see, the whole world go there to the watch show. If they watch their show, they don't get where they do the kind of thing that they do. Everybody, they will say, oh my God, we are fainting. They need to see you guys. I wish you didn't even dance at all. How did you? Who, who directs this? Wait, no, hold on. What I mean is, who scripted, who directed? Oh, that's so sweet of you. That's so sweet of you to do that. See, what I have noticed today is that it's not just that you're talented. You guys are brilliant. Two brilliant Nigerian minds. Two really, what I mean brilliant, you are above average. You're not your mate's mates. You and your mates are not mates. The way, anybody where script this thing when I do like this, way direct them. I'm not joking. Listen to me. It's not a joke. The, whoever put together this performance deserves to be given a certain level of respect in the creative industry. It's not a joke. You look to me like a future of what we are about to experience in this industry. That's what you look to me like. You look to me like the kind of person they will look for. for you know, we've watched Nigerian movies since we were children. The same thing. We are now looking at the new innovation, the new innovatives, things new, taking it to a different dimension. There's a lot on, on, on uh, animation and the rest of it. On, and you, you, if you did this, first of all, what I want you to do is you must take a course on animation and sci-fi, thriller, whatever you want to call it. If you le forget about who's going to pay, you know, at the end of the day, let me tell you what you will achieve. Your, that mind of yours will place you... There's something coming to Nigeria in the creative industry. It will put you in the forefront if you prepare yourself for it. I'm just... I don't know what else to say. I'm speaking from a place of where I've been in the industry for so many years and seeing your innovation. I don't know how to quantify it. You are beyond the stage. You are... Brilliant. You guys make this job extremely 
excruciatingly difficult for us. My dear, now, um, if you know Ini, when Ini gets passionate about something, that means that thing is gold. I'm telling you for free, when she gets passionate about something, that means that thing is gold. I don't want to call you guys dancers or actors. I want to call you talent. You are talent. Because I really cannot put you in a box. With what you guys showed today, this is far by far your best performance that I have seen with my two naked eyes. And as one thing I would say to you guys, if you keep this level of focus, and this level of unity and drive, you will be surprised at where you would see yourself. For this particular performance, huh? ask them to give you the recording and save it. God bless. Hmm. <laughs> Where would I start? That is, okay. As a dancer, I respect you. You deserve all my respect. Both of you, actually. Because you, you, you laid down the plan. It's wonderful for someone to bring out the idea. And for someone to execute it effortlessly. And he does it the way you imagine it in your head. Like, are, you not, are you not proud? Are you not satisfied with your idea? So it's both of you. So I want to say I, I give you guys all my respect as a dancer. Because that was... It's a storytelling for the, you know, it's very creative and very deep. For the fact that you stole everybody's attention from the beginning, you stole everyone's attention, and we're paying attention to you, and it went from, okay, 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 to, whoa! I think my in is still not simultaneously, like, I couldn't hold it anymore. That was beautiful, and I wish you guys did this last week. I hope you're not up for, are you up for possible eviction? Oh, my God. Well... Competition or not, you guys are amazing. She said everything already. You guys go beyond Nigeria, Africa, because what you guys did, what Jabawakis did, like we grew up watching Jabawakis on TV and stuff, and you guys did that smoothly. I am proud to be a dancer. I'm proud to be here, sitting here, talking to you guys and watch that performance. And I don't know what to do right now. I'm still going to think about because that performance deserves a lot, a whole lot. It's, it's 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 out of this world. Just simply, I was I couldn't move. That's how much I was locked in. I couldn't move. I looked right and I saw Ini and because standing up, and I wanted to stand up, but I was just frozen because I didn't want the time I was blinking to stand up to miss something. That's the honest truth. And like Liko said, I honestly wish you had done this last week. You understand? Because this is a final performance. This is a performance that, that really scatter ground. You understand? I've, 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 from the first day I saw you guys, I knew you guys were amazing, but this just literally blew my mind. Well done. I'm praying that I see you guys next week. You understand? But if not, if, even if at all anything doesn't happen, at least I, I, you guys have a booking in December from me. Thank you. I don't know what I did to you. Your body, are you with? It's too real. I don't know what I did to me. Your body, are you with? Good evening, judges. Good evening. Look at your neighbor. Say, my neighbor. I celebrate you. Say that neighbor. Neighbor. Say like a neighbor woman. Say neighbor. Because Jesus loves you. I love, I love you. Tell that neighbor, because Jesus died for you. You go die for me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I love our Igbo sisters so much. Then they give me joy. Celebrate yourself, Igbo people, for that day here. Uh -huh. We they represent. Hold on, hold on. Now, only Igbo woman, they use testimony. Their church, people where she they quarrel with. Ibo woman to give testimony. You go hear something like this. I don't even know why then they shout. Praise Master Jesus. Church, I want to celebrate our pastor. 
While I was in the hospital, daddy was coming to see me. Even though I did not see our choir mistress, and I did not see our women leader, but I know they were praying for me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if Ibo woman wants to sing special number, she no need to sing the song the way she hear them. She go sing them the way she like them. Popular acquired bomb song when message was released. Boy Kondo. Ibo woman used that song, give testimony. The song change. What do we hear now? Boy Kondo. Amami henge me. Boy Kondo. Biko guami henge me. On a no say get one sweet pass made that song. She change them. Emine mi 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 mam pam panamana mi mi pyom. Emine ni 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 mam mam panamana mi mi pyom 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 pyom. Celebrate you, people. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Ibo people. Now then they use song, give God any name where they like. And God no get any option but to answer. Now Ibo people wake up one morning, decide say for this whole world. Now this in the one called Jesus. Budoza, Budoza, eh. You are my Budoza, eh. Jehovah, Budoza, daddy. Ibo people, on I know this popular song where in the rain. Where still the rain now, self? Machala, ma on I know this song, Abi. When Igbo people hear that song for Abba, children gather, they sing them. Now one sister called them, ask them, Onye guru that song. Now they say, na kata efe. Say, Onye bo machala. They say, na whiskey. He say, ta! Oh, na ni Jesus bo machala. <laughs> now Igbo people enter studio, release their own machala. You know, say, Igbo song, they always be husband and wife. And at the wife, they feature the horse. DJ. Drop Machala track. You go hear Ibo version. Jesus! Ochiro Swawa! You are the only Machala that we know. Hey, hey! You go come here. Daddy, me. Daddy, me. Daddy, me. Daddy, me. I want to be a Machala. Hey. Machala. Hey. Machala. I want to be a Machala. Hey. Machala. Hey. Ibo people go tell you story for the song. You go hear something like this. Jesus in 2006. Machala, Machala. I was in a labor room. Machala, Machala. The baby refused to come. Machala, Machala. Now, to complete the song, the husband will go end up with another song. Talking drum. Talking drum. Good evening, boss. Good evening, sir. You are supposed to perform October second. Yes, sir. Ay Life Potter Court. Yes, sir. But because of our show. You couldn't perform. Yes, sir. You are an outstanding performer. I would say that to you for free. What I will do, because I know that you deserve the big stage, I will wake up in the morning, I will bath, I will brush my teeth, I will use deodorant and small perfume, I will enter the car, I will still drive to Bros. AY's place. Jesus. And I will tell him that I want you and Master Seb to perform together in AY Life Easter. Because that is his biggest show. Thank you very much, sir. And when I do it, I will record it and post if the answer is yes or no. But I know that the answer will be yes. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Uh... <laughs> Oh my goodness, see ya. I, I, um, I don't know what to say. 
when you came out, I was like, mm, okay, I think we are done with comedy today. Because Master Seb outdid himself. Honestly, I'm being honest. So when you came out, I'm like, okay. Perhaps we have the comedian in the house. But you are not a... You're not anybody to trample on. You're not anybody anybody overlooks. You're ready for this competition. And you're equally as good. I'm just looking forward to seeing you guys. What happens after this competition. Like I said, I, will, I want to come to your show. Amazing job tonight. And even if anything else fails, brother... Pick up the microphone and sing as your sister Ngozi. <laughs> because hey, 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 that voice can sing some music. Now we can, uh, you know, you know what I mean? Yes, but well done. Amazing creativity and everything else. You guys, you guys make me be proud to be a part of this show. Honestly speaking, you make it so worth it. It takes a lot for us to have to be here every week. I promise you. But it's worth it. Every time we come out here, seeing you guys, I would rather be nowhere else but here. So well done. Thank you, Ma. Your jokes are relatable, you know, and that's one thing that gets me. They are relatable, and at the same time, I can still see some a little bit of originality in it. But for the fact that you are that crowd controller and you do it with comedy is amazing and extraordinary. I wish you the best of luck. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you in bigger platforms, bigger stage, doing your own show. And that AY Live, Mr. I'll come watch you. Um, everybody has said everything. Consistency, great performance. Well done. Well done. <laughs>that performance was so dope so amazing that i was expecting more so the end was just like that it um
time wise I get it, but you could have ended on a a crescendo, I mean that a bigger note, Sha. But that being said, I mean I can't fault you guys ever. You guys always know how to take a performance and take it to a higher level every single time. Your blend, your choice of songs, your mixing, your directing, everything you put together is an amazing performance. And uh, I won't apply for Brothers in Arms job, but I think you guys are amazing and I look forward to seeing you in the finals. Um, you guys have always um, kept like up here from day one. So I love the, the storyline, the creativity, and the energy was mad. I, I was looking forward to more, but I think the time and, yeah. What is the last performance of the night? Maybe I finish, I'm not big. Nice one. Wish you guys best of luck. See you guys in the finals. Okay, so first of all, uh, you know, two things you will take home tonight. Your beginning of your show and the end of your show is the highlight of your show. If you have one minute, that means that in the first two, five seconds, you're beginning the show with, and the last 57 seconds, three, the last remaining three seconds of your show. I'm saying if you have one minute for a show, the first three seconds and the last three seconds. However small the time that you have to sell yourself is to be on any stage, that beginning and that ending is most important. Do you understand what I mean? You must end on a high note. You cannot end and we're like, okay. That being said, Let's talk about the performance. It was electrifying. It was electrifying. Listen, I don't know. <laughs> I just said something to IK earlier. I said, well, thankfully, we don't have to really do so much tonight in terms of sending anybody home because it would be a terrible... We cannot make those choices right now. You guys... Everybody's game has been so top-notch, and you guys did not fall behind. Your innovation, your creativity, your, you know, coming back every time with fresh ideas on how to reposition yourselves in the show. That's what I love. That means you go home and you do your homework, and you do it well. You guys are great personalities. I loved your show. I just love it. I just want you to note, every, so every time we criticize you is go home and work on that part to know you cannot end your, even if it's one second they give you. First beginning and end must stop. Okay? Other than that, I want to see you next week. I don't know how we'll go do them, but we'll go do them. We are here already, so good luck, guys. So, um, with everything being said, you guys know that you have it. You'll be like, say, when you find, you know, say you find. Person no need to tell you, say you find. So you can dance. Nobody needs to tell you that you can dance. But the problem that you have today is that you've set the bar for yourself so high that even when you give us this kind of performance, I don't think you've met, you've met up with that bar that you set for yourself. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. With your performance, this on its own, outstanding, amazing. But because you've set the bar so high for yourself, you can only meet up with the bar or go above it. Tonight's performance did not meet up with that bar you've set for yourself and did not go above it. I really, really want to see you guys in the final, which is next week. And if we get to that final, I only ask you guys for one thing. Don't just meet up with the bar. Go above it and hit the skies. Because you have it in you. God bless. Smooth lights. Smooth lights is so. Hope. Hope is a team. It's a feather.
that touches his soul and sing the tune which has words hope for the future hope that things will get better in our life Facing hard time. My sin, my sin frustrating. I want you to know that at the edge of darkness, you find light. I will need you guys to do me a favor. So I will need your imagination. I want you to imagine this table taking off from the floor. When you're ready, let me know. need to come for every good story was has the beginning and the end. Thank you guys, that's my time. Are, are you okay? I think that we are so in awe that people don't know how to react. Ace Black was phenomenal last, last season and he's just showed exactly why he's one of the best, you know, magicians that we've seen on the show. You know, so it's good to have you back. Are you okay, my brother? Are you sure he's okay? He's just emotional. He's, I mean, it's uh, coming back on this stage, right? Yeah. It's, he's just emotional. Come no, on, no, give no, it no, up for No, 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 brother, you killed it. It's amazing. Thank it's you. It's just emotional. Well done. 
Uh, quickly, Eni Ike, Liko Rose, quickly. Um, I mean, you saw him perform last season and him coming I, back. I just, I'm just happy to see the growth, the transformation, and the, the, and the fact that it's transitioning very nicely into, like, really good stuff. What you did tonight, a lot of people may not be able to comprehend it, but I see it. I'm, I'm not a big magic, uh, magic fan, but I saw you tonight, and I'm just... Look, listen, I think you're ready for this. Like... I'm just proud that we, we, we literally... You're part of the... Yes, yes the I journey. Can, yeah, I, I hear he has a show coming up on the 6th of... Uh, 4th. 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 4th of, of December, right? Where? Port Harcourt. Port Harcourt. 4th of December, Port Harcourt. 4th of December. I'm going to try my best to be in that show. Uh, thank you. God bless. I... Thank you. Well done. Lee Cobb, quickly. Yeah, I, 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 you're a phenomenal um, magician. I love your tricks. It's, it screams professionalism and showmanship. Like you, like up there, like up there. And I, I wish you the best of luck on your show. I hope it's sold out. I know, and I'll do my best, the best I can, to help you promote your show. Thank I understand you. you're emotional because PTSD. Like you've been on this stage before. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Ladies okay, and gentlemen, thank you. Ace Black, everybody, well done. Thank you so much. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. This is the Nine Chessbury Talent Hunt. If you're just joining us, we're in season two semifinals. Before we wrap up the show for today, we'll have one more eviction. Can we please have GKB Delta All Stars, Talking Drum, and Brothers in Arm? All right, here we go. At least two people will be leaving the competition. The next essence moving straight to the finale is Congratulations! Delta All Stars, you're safe! And you're going straight to the finale. Take a bow, head on out. Congratulations, well done. The next contestant leaving the competition is. The journey ends here for... The journey ends here for Talking Drum. This is why we ask you votes for your favorites. Talking Drum, you've been phenomenal. Come on, put your hands together for Talking Drum. He's been excellent. He's been very special all season long. What final words would you want to say quickly to the judges and the fans? Um, sincerely, I want to say a very big thank you to the judges and to the fans. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. One more time, give it up for Talking Drum. Thank you so much. The next contestant leaving the competition is... After the break, stand by. Welcome back to the show. This is the Nine Jet Spirit Talent Horn Season 2, the semifinals. On stage right now, we have Brothers in Arm and GKB. One of them is moving straight to the finale to perform for your vote and stand a chance at the grand prize for 7 million naira. The other, the journey would end here. Performing for your votes at the finale would be Brothers in Arms, you're safe! GKB, the journey ends here, unfortunately. Thank you so much. You've been spectacular. Well done. And on that note, we wrap up the show. Thanks for joining us. Next week, all contestants, 
It's a level playing ground. They will all need your votes. So you absolutely need to get on the DTH app right now to vote for your favorites. If you absolutely love any of the contestants you've seen so far, please vote for them. Thank you so much for being a part of the show. Thank you so much, judges, as always, and the amazing audience here back home. We'll see you next week at the finale. The show today opened up with a bang, tantalizing to such delicious intrigue, forged ahead at an increasingly breakneck pace, and ended at a gripping climax. I'll see you at the finale. Good night.